Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Deep Biology. In the previous lecture, we have discussed two point test cross gene mapping. In this lecture, we will discuss the gene mapping from three point test cross. It means there are involvement of three genes during the test cross in gene mapping. There are three kinds of crossing over occur. The crossing over between first and second gene, we have take three genes W, X and Y. In the second case, the crossing over occur between X and Y gene and in the third case, there is found double crossing over. In the first case, when there is found crossing over between W and X, then the crossing over occur here and this leads to the swapping of small x, small y with the capital X, capital Y gene and we get following combination. Now, when the crossing over occur between X and Y region, then there will be the swapping of small w, small x with the capital W, capital X region. That's why there is found small w, small x and capital Y and capital W, capital X and small y. Now, in the case of double crossover, it means two crossover occur side by side. When there is crossover occur between W and X region, then this small x and small y is swept with capital X and capital Y region. That's why we get capital W, small x, small y and small w, capital X, capital Y. Now, there is found another crossing over between, uh, between X and Y region. And now in this case, the capital W and small x is swept with the small w and capital X region. That's why there is found small w, capital X, small y and capital W, small x, x and capital Y region containing chromosome. Now, in the case of double crossover, we found that the middle one gene is swept because look at the parent that there is found capital W, capital X and capital Y and another chromosome have small w, small x and small y. Now look at the double crossover product as the capital W and capital Y are found common in double crossover and parental type. Similarly, the small w and small y, small w and small y is also found on the double crossover as well as parental type. But now you will see that the gene small x is swept with capital X. That's why w y there is found capital X and small x. This indicates that the small, the middle gene is x. Now, how we find the genetic distance? The genetic distance is found by summing up our single crossover product as well as double crossover product and then divided by total number of offspring. Now, this whole thing is multiplied by 100. In this way, we can find genetic distance between two genes. Here, CSO is single crossover and DCO is double crossover. What is coefficient of coincidence? That when there are found two crossover in the side by region in a chromosome, this is the chances of occurring of two crossing over and it is calculated by observed double crossover and expected double crossover. Interference is opposite to coefficient of coincidence. Interference means when two crossover, this is our DNA, when two crossover occur in the homolog chromosome, then this crossover will inhibit 
will show interference to this cross over and the interference is calculated by 1 minus coefficient of coincidence now we understand in a better way by taking in our example suppose these are the parents which are homozygous dominant for all of three genes and another parent is homozygous dominant homozygous recessive for three genes these two parents are crossed and f1 is produced now they have done test cross it means the f1 is crossed with homozygous recessive parents for three gene and he found that such combination of offspring and they have provided us also the number now in this case the greater number of offspring of any type will tell that it is of parental type of spring and the lowest number will depict that this is the uh, this types are of double cross over type first of all in this case we have to find that what is the order of the gene now we have to find the middle gene for this we have to write our parental type capital a capital b capital c and small a small b and small c and we have also write our double crossover product which are found in the lowest number in our offspring that is capital a capital b and small c small a small b and capital c these are our double crossover product now we have to find the gene which will swept with between the homolog chromosome as in this case the middle gene is swept between the homolog chromosome now the a and b gene is found in parental type as well as in the a double crossover similarly small a small b is found on both parental and double crossover type but you will find that the with capital a and capital b there is found capital c but in case of double crossover there is found small c it means that this gene c is swept over between the homolog chromosome that's why the c gene is in the middle c gene in middle position and the order of the gene on a chromosome is a c b the order of gene is a c and b that's why the parental type are small a small c and small b if we have to find the genetic distance between a and c we have to do single crossover between a and c and we will get capital a small c and small b and the another one is small a capital c and small b now we have to look the table we have provided the capital a small c and capital b this are of 81 and this is our single cross over first and the small a capital b small capital c are of 85 so the genetic distance is calculated by as i have provided you earlier that single crossover plus double crossover over total into 100 the single crossover are 81 plus 85 and double crossover are 5 plus 8 5 plus 8 and total of spring are when we sum up they are 1000 
into 100 over in this case 100 to 100 cancel out and we will find 17.9 centi Morgan genetic distance between A and C now if we have to find the genetic distance between B and C then we have to cross over between C and B region when we cross over between C and B region this is our SCO2 we will find small a small c and capital B and capital A capital C and small b because this region will swap with this region in this crossover now we have to find the number of offspring small a small c small a small c and capital B that is 30 and capital A capital C and small b that is 27 in number now we apply our gene distance formula we get single crossover 30 plus 27 and double crossover 5 plus 8 divided by total number of offspring is equal to 1000 into 100 100 to 100 cancel out and we will get 7 centi morgan in this way we can depict that the a and c gene gene distance between a and c is 17.9 centi morgan and the genetic distance between c and b is 7 centi morgan i hope you have find my video useful please like subscribe and share with your friends thank you and have a nice day